back here with our first Federal Community Bank MVPs. I say MVPs because it's a defensive player and an offensive player. First, Cameron Goldbach, the defensive end. Two sacks tonight to help keep East Knox pretty much off the board except for, you know, one touchdown. First of all, congratulations, Cameron. What was the game plan against Elliott and Lester tonight? I mean, we were just supposed to contain them. Me and Ashton Clark were supposed to keep the QB uh, contained in. And they, they lined uh, number 55 up to the, like, most of the side of the left side of the field. And uh, I was lined up on weak side, which made it difficult because they didn't have much people to back me up. And uh, I was just supposed to take on a blocker and do my job. Um, East Knox, you know, last year they were an up-and-coming team. This year, you know, despite losing uh, one of the best running backs in the conference, they're still a gutsy team out there. Uh, how, I mean, how tough was it in the trenches tonight? Because it felt like an old-school Basham football game. Oh, it was tough. I mean, they were slippery. They were real good. Uh, I, I can give them that. Um, don't know really much to say, but they were, it was tough. It was a, it was a battle. We came out on top. Five and two now. You stay in the K-Mac race. You got to be rooting for East Knox in Week Ten against Danville. Oh yeah. But uh, not only that, playoff-wise, you're moving up. Now the last two years, you guys stumbled a little bit the last couple games of the season. What's what's the difference this year that that's going to change and that's not going to happen? We're going to stay focused in the weight room. We're not going to take any plays off, and we're going to be there 100% all the time. All right, Cameron. Before I let you hand it off to our second MVP. Any shout-outs? Look into the camera. Go for it, my man. Uh, I want to shout-out Jackson Wenger and the whole offensive line, defensive line, defense, Paul Kramer, and just everyone on the team. All right, there's our first MVP. Cameron Goldbach, the defensive end, had a couple sacks of Jacks Lester. Now let's bring in our second MVP. And it is the worm man, Jax Wenger. Seven catches. A buck five, three touchdowns. Uh, you're helping out fantasy owners with tonight's performance. <laughs> yeah. A couple of those plays, uh, you got to shout out your quarterback because he dropped a couple dimes right into you where that was the only place he could throw them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Coach Hall grew up. Coach Hall drew up great concepts for us, and A.J., obviously what he's been doing this season, it's been great, and he just continued to do it this game, throwing great balls and getting us in good positions to score and make plays. This is the second time this season that I thought a ball was tipped or intercepted, but then it's just you casually catching it and running out of the back of the end zone. What's the focus on some of those plays where it goes through two or three defenders, but you still are able to watch the ball in? Um, I mean, all summer and through camp, we work on stuff like that, making catches through the crowds with uh, people in our face. Um, shout out to our scout defense. They do great uh, through the week, giving us good looks and making us uh, make tough catches. And again, AJ just puts great balls for us that only we can catch. And how, I wouldn't say, I guess somewhat easy, but how fun is it to have so many playmakers on offense that AJ can throw to and hand off? I mean, Bo's been making great catches. Uh, Hunter is making catches, but he's also playing defensively really well. And then you have a couple good running backs that you can go to anytime. How much does that open up the offense and give you opportunities to make big plays? Yeah, it's great because, like you said, we have a bunch of different weapons, so teams can't zone in on one person to stop us. I mean, if they want to try to zone in on one person, another man just going to have a big night like I was able to do tonight. Last week, Bo had a good week. Um, so, I mean, it just opens up everything for everybody else. Uh, ask the same question to Cameron. Last couple of years, you guys are in good position, but you kind of tripped up at the end of the season with a loss or two. What do you need to do this year to avoid that, have a chance after Week 10 for a KMAC championship and to possibly get a couple of home games in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, we just have to stay focused. We have to – nothing changes from the first six, seven weeks of the – regular season keep going through practice last few weeks of practice we've been practicing really well um, so just staying focused and doing our jobs will be fine lastly mr worm man he this this dude went all out at homecoming it was awesome to see i, I hope you guys had a good time with us djing but any shout outs you want to give out here tonight uh shout out to alexia watching from cincinnati and, and shout out to coach hall there you go. Tonight's MVPs, Cam Goldbach on the defensive end, Jack Swinger on the offensive end. I'll see you next week at Mount Gilead. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. We'll be back.